this is Andrea here, and we are off to a whole new mini album. We're going to be doing a 6x6 mini album, and I've had this leftover chipboard, which is 6x6, uh, that I got with my cinch machine. So we're going to use that. This is the paper stack we're going to use. It's called the Dear Jane stack. I got this used on um, YouTube, and it was under um, a D-stash lot. So you can find some really cool things under D stash. Let's go through our paper. This is gorgeous. Very quality paper. I love it. It's by DCWV. This is one of my favorites. It's beautiful pinks. Look at that chocolate brown. Gold foil. This one is um, they are they are cutouts, but they don't say anything. But that's okay. They don't have to. This is beautiful. And we have this bird cage with the rose. Very cute. Uh, I love, love, love this one. Very, very pretty. This one's gorgeous. And here are our other cutouts. Green. You know, they just throw in random colors, I think, sometimes. <laughs> it's a pretty green, but <laughs> just kind of random. This is gorgeous. Maybe we can do a um, piece it together like a puzzle piece. We'll see. It's very pretty. Very pretty paper. I love it. They say here they have a total of 48 sheets and then a half of that is with foil. Here's some random chocolate. This is my favorite one right here. I think this is gorgeous. All right, this is gorgeous. And then this one here. These are the ones that got used. And sometimes when you buy a V-stash, and you're not buying it brand new, but you still have plenty for a mini album. So again, this is the Dear Jane stack. We are also going to be using the DCWV stack 9. And that is because 90% of the time you will find the same uh, papers in this stack 9 that you will have in your other DCW pads. So this is what this stack looks like. Very pretty. I enjoy using this one. Okay. There we go. All right, so those are the two pads. This one is just a filler, and then this is our main pad. We will try to use all this up before we um, use all of this in our book. Okay. Here are a few things you're going to need. You're going to need some wet glue. I use this Fabrifix. I got like four, you know, five or six of these bottles. They are um, eight ounces for $3.50 a piece, but they're regularly $9.99. And I got them on sale um, when Hobby Lobby had their huge sale. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. Uh, you're going to also need a paper trimmer. Doesn't matter which kind, just which what, whatever is more um, easy for you to use. You're going to need a small paper creaser, also known as a scoreboard. Uh, a large scoreboard. Maybe not so much large on this one, uh, we'll see. Just have it on hand just in case. A pair of scissors. Your pokey tool, which is also known as a um, piercing tool. I just covered mine in rhinestones. I love it. Turned out so cute. Okay, then a bone folder. A couple of pencils. And 
I, I have three different size tapes. I have a half inch, this is double sided sticky tape, half inch, quarter inch, and an eighth inch. And then I also like to use my embossing and die cutting machine. So I have a whole bunch of different edge dies. I have these little skinny ones. Then I have these big mama jamas. I, I enjoy using these on my mini albums. Okay. Then, of course, your lotion. Paper dries out the hands and the cuticles so bad. So keep a little lotion around your area and put it on um, all the time. Just put it on. You need it. All right. We will put this away, and I'll be back to get started on our book board. Okay, guys. We are back. And we are going to be using our 6x6 chipboard. And this is chipboard, or also known as bookboard, but you can get um, medium chip board off of Amazon. And that works just as well. Okay, this is a 3 inch spine, 3 inches by 6, and then this is 6x6. Six six. So it's still a 6x6 six six book but your spine is three by six. All right. You're gonna need some Tyvek. If you want, you don't have to use Tyvek. I use recycled um, mailers. And I just put sticky on the back and then lay it down and cut it as I need it. So I'm gonna cut this one up. This does keep your um, seams from splitting. That's why I like to use it. Let's go ahead and mark it. Then we'll do another one. And then we'll do two more on the opposite side. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Okay, cut those down. I have some more. part is just too small but we'll find some other use for it we're only going to cut straight across. You want to put these edge to edge, like so. Same with this one, like that. And we're going to take a couple of paper clips. cut straight across. Okay. This is the one that goes, yeah. And these are our extra. And they can go in our drawer to be saved. Now you want to get started on working. So we're going to put one on the edge here. Go ahead and 
burnish that down. And these will be covered in paper, so don't worry about it showing right now. Leave about an eighth of an inch between the two and burnish that down. You can even take your bone folder and score right in that gap. That allows your paper to fold nice and easy. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. With this being a six by six, you, you don't have a wrong or a right way for placing this because it's not directional. Okay, flip that over. Go with your eighth of an inch again. Burnish that down. Go ahead and mark your score your folding area. Okay. Now you're going to do the same on the opposite side. This one's going to be not so tricky because it just lays down in one piece. You're already set to go as far as the width in between each paper. Okay. Nice. Getting nice and stiff for us. You don't want it too stiff. But you do want it stiff enough to last, you know, whatever forever is to you. Okay. All right that over and then back this way okay yay that turned out really nice you have an extra piece of chipboard just throw it in your stash to be used for another project let's go ahead and put the big scissors away I just want to trim off my excess here Not much, but enough to peek out at me and let me know it's there. See, no one will see this, but you'll know it's there, and it will bug you. Okay. Alright, I got some black cardstock out. This is what's going to wrap our book because we are going to wrap. We haven't wrapped in a very long time, but wrapping's fun too. Okay. Let's see. You 
don't need much. Okay. I am going I am going to tape this down together. I tape it to each other. This is eight and a half by eleven black card stock. 65 pounds and you can use any cardstock you want it doesn't have to be black whatever you use just make sure it matches your paper or well, coincides with the paper stack you're using paper is attached and you're going to have a seam on the back but that's okay because you can cover that with other paper okay take up the board and we are going to tape this up I put tape about an eighth of an inch away from each score line because I still want that to fold and be um, loosey-goosey for us. This is half inch tape. You can use any size tape you want. Just make sure it's gonna be strong enough to hold your book board to the paper. Try not to cross over your seams. Because that will make it hard to fold open and close as well. It's so hot out here. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you live in the desert. Okay. taped up and ready to go. Good. Let's get our pokey tool out. Now we can remove the backing of all this tape. I'm going to finish removing the backing and I'll be right back. All right, we are now ready to fold these down and get these the way we want them. I'll just fold these down. Press down on your corners, a soft crease, there we go, we're going to do the same here. Okay. 
them on the opposite side. Use the board to give you that crease. There we go. Okay. Unfold those, but you have your lines for cutting. You can also cut straight across, like so. Just make sure to leave some for this corner. Yeah. Let's go ahead. So you can cut like this and this little rectangle out. I'm gonna go ahead and go across. Doesn't have to be perfect, just perfect enough for you. See, that's what you want. You want it to fold like an envelope. There. there. Now we're going to use some more tape to tape these down. We are going to be using wet glue on this as well. Okay. Do our last triangle. burnish that tape down. That should help with removing the tape backing, make it a little easier. Okay, cross our fingers on that one. Get your glue ready. do my corners first. Huh. This will come up whenever it's ready. Okay. Burnish it real well, even on this edge here. See how I'm right on the edge of the book? Burnish that too. Okay, let's do this other corner. Move our tape backing.
if you have a tape glider gun, like an ATG or a Xylon, feel free to use it. As long as you are using a permanent sticker paper and permanent tape, you will be fine. got our corners done. Let's go ahead and do our sides. Here, you just want to push in this little corner, just fold it over. Same for here. And our last one. put a little bit of glue. You can fold this. Just test it out. Oh, we're doing good. Let's go forward. There we go. burnish on the top and the side. Same here. Place your glue down. Fold it over. And burnish. Now, you see your score line on your Tyvek here. Just carry that straight through the paper on top and on the bottom. Gives us a little room to get this folded because now it is very, very stiff. Just rock it. So you get it high enough. Keep rocking it. Burnish as you go if you need to. Okay. Now you guys probably go, oh no wonder she brought buys that black chipboard <laughs> and I have plenty of it I just wanted to do this one because it's been a while and I thought you guys might want to see it done again 
Okay, we have wrapped our board and we're ready to make our pages. Let's go ahead and clean up our mess. Remember this is a six by six. Okay. So we're going to want our pages to be So five and three quarters. So you want your page to be five and three quarters by six. Five and three quarters by six. You're gonna score it at a half an inch. Your sheet left over from one eight and a half by 11 is not enough to make another page. So five and three quarters by six, and let's go for one, two, three, four, five. Let's go for six pages. I'm gonna cut this down, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is what your book should look like. We put in all of our pages, and we ended up having six pages, uh, six inserts, which will give us 12 pages, plus 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, if you count the spine in the front and the back. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and are ready to go to work on this particular mini album. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great one. Bye.